Welcome to this geographical and historical introduction. This MOOC on Oriental Beliefs will make you travel across various areas and many different periods of time. Here are some useful reference points we have prepared to help you embark on this journey with us. Domain 1. Japan. The important historical periods include prehistoric and ancient Japan, classical Japan, including the Heian period, medieval Japan, and modern Japan, including the Edo period. The important sites include Tokyo and Kyoto. Japan is known as a country which has hundreds of kami, that is, divine spirits linked to various elements of nature. This genuinely Japanese religion is called Shintoism, but any sort of religion is also tolerated. The concept of harmony permeates every scene of Japanese people's daily life, from ancient times to now. Domain 2. China. The important historical periods include the Hongchan culture, the Xia dynasty, the Shang Yin dynasty, the Zhou dynasty, the Ming dynasty and the Qing dynasty. The important sites include Erlito, Anyang, Luoyang and Beijing. Here is some information specifically concerning two of our videos. Concerning the power of Chinese hybrids, animal mutation is fascinating. It gives the impression that one can constantly escape from death thanks to transformation. In China, from time immemorial, hybrids have been revered because of their supernatural power in warding off evil spirits. Concerning the ancestor worship in China, since ancient times the Chinese have been worshipping their ancestors. For this sacrificial religion, filial devotion is most important. During the whole of Chinese history, till 1911, this had important consequences for the political organization of society. Even today, the parents and grandparents in China still receive far more respect from their children than in Western society. Domain 3. Ancient Egypt. The important historical periods include the early dynastic period, the Old Kingdom, the Middle Kingdom, the New Kingdom, the Late Period and the Ptolemaic Period. The important sites include Thinis, Memphis, Thebes, P. Ramses and Alexandria. Ancient Egypt was one of the greatest civilizations of antiquity and of northeastern Africa, concentrated along the inferior course of the River Nile, corresponding to the modern country of Egypt. Ancient Egypt is well known for its hieroglyphic writing and its buildings such as the pyramids. One of the most famous kings was the pharaoh Ramses II. Domain 4. Ancient Mesopotamia. The important historical periods include the Sumerian period, the Old Babylonian period, the Middle Babylonian period, the Neo-Babylonian period and the Late Babylonian period. The important sites include Assur and Babylon. Mesopotamia, the land between the rivers, Tigris and Euphrates, corresponds to present-day Iraq and Syria. It was home to a great civilization known for its cuneiform writing and its ziggurats, tower temples, such as the famous Tower of Babel, which is mentioned in the Bible. Domain 5, Anatolia. The important historical periods include the Hattian period, the Old Hittite period, the Middle Hittite period and the Imperial Hittite period. The important sites include Hattusa. Anatolia roughly corresponds to modern Turkey. In the second millennium, the Hittites held sway in this land, especially in central and north Anatolia. These people were culturally influenced by the previous Hatti civilization, as well as the Luvians, who lived in south and west Anatolia. They are especially noteworthy for their sophisticated form of polytheism, calling their, their land the land of the thousand gods. Domain 6. Ancient Iran. The important historical periods include the Old Elamite period, the Middle Elamite period, the Neo Elamite period, and the Achaemenid period. The important sites include Susa and Persepolis. In ancient Iran, 
two civilizations existed. The first one is called Elamite, after the Elamites who controlled the southwest of Iran from about 3000 to 550 BCE. They were succeeded by the Persian or ancient Iranian civilization. This latter is particularly remarkable in two respects, the introduction of Zoroastrianism and the great Persian Empire, which controlled the entire Near East for more than two centuries until 331 BCE, and which fought the so-called Persian Wars with the Greeks. Domain 7. Ancient Greece. The important historical periods include the Mycenaean period, the Dark Ages, the Archaic period, the Classical period, the Hellenistic period and the Roman period. The important sites include Athens and Sparta. Thanks to its privileged position between the East and the West, Greece has always remained at the crossroads of several cultural streams. On the one hand, ancient Greece can be considered as the western border of the Oriental world and was indeed very much indebted to traditions which go back to Anatolian and Mesopotamian cultures. On the other hand, Greece is often regarded as the cradle of Western civilization. During the Archaic and the Classical periods, it paved the way for the development of many features of European culture in the fields of literature, philosophy, history and architecture. Europe also owes its monetary economy to ancient Greece and it is often said that the very concept of democracy was first invented there as well. Domain 8. Ancient Israel. The important historical periods include the pre-exilic period, the Babylonian exile, the Persian era and the Hellenistic era. The important sites include Jerusalem and Babylon. Ancient Israel was a civilization of the ancient Near East located in Canaan's land, known above all through the Hebrew Bible, but also from Egyptian and Mesopotamian, Mesopotamian sources. Its history is divided into two by the Babylonian exile, which put an end to the Judean kingdom. It was the beginning of the diaspora, Babylonian and Egypt, but also the origin of Judaism. Domain 9a Hinduism. In India, the vast majority of the population practices Hinduism with large Muslim, Christian, Jain and other communities. Hinduism also prevails in Nepal and is present in many other countries with communities with Indian origins. On the other hand, Islam is the majority religion in present-day Pakistan, Bangladesh and the Maldives. For the history of Hinduism, the important periods include the Indus Valley Civilization, the Vedic period, the early Upanishads, the Classical period, the Medieval period and the Modern period. The important sites include Mohenjo-Daro, Pataliputra, Puri, Tanjavur. Domain 9b – Buddhist India Buddhism is no longer present on a large scale on the Indian subcontinent, although it is in Sri Lanka, but it is important to realize that it has its origins in the north of India. Today, Buddhism is very prominent in large parts of Southeast Asia and China, and indeed, worldwide. For the history of Buddhism, the important periods include the life of Siddhartha Gautama, the Buddha, the Maurya dynasty, including the reign of King Ashoka, the Pala dynasty and the disappearance of Buddhism in India. The important sites include Lumbini, Bogdaya, Varanasi, Sarnath and Pataliputra. Buddhism goes back to Siddhartha Gautama, also known as the Buddha, who lived in northern India in the 5th century BCE. He taught that it is possible to put an end to suffering by following a middle way between sensual indulgence and extreme asceticism, a path characterized by self-discipline, meditation and wisdom. While accommodating the gods of the Indian pantheon, the Buddha considered them to be subject to suffering and ignorance. He famously refused to discuss speculative questions about the afterlife and rejected the notion of a permanently existing soul.
Domain 10. Christian Orient. The important historical periods include the ancient Christian period, Christianity and the Muslims, Crusaders and Mongols, Christianity in the Ottoman Empire and in modern times. The important sites include Aksum, Alexandria, Cairo, St. Catherine on the Sinai, Damascus, Antioch on the Orontes, Edessa, Erbil, Yerevan, Tbilisi and Kerala. Christianity originates from the Middle East. From there, it not only spread to Europe and subsequently to many other parts of the world. In the Middle East itself, it became the majority religion until it was gradually replaced by Islam from the 7th century CE onwards, although significant Eastern Christian communities live in the Muslim world until the present day. Christianity also swiftly expanded further eastwards to the Caucasus, Persia, parts of India, Central Asia and China. As a result, Oriental Christianity is a complex geographical and cultural domain that partly overlaps with Byzantine Christianity and it is often marked by close interaction with Islam and other religions and cultures. Over a period of about 2000 years, Eastern Christians have transmitted a rich heritage in a variety of languages and alphabets such as Ethiopic, Coptic, Arabic, Syriac, Armenian, Georgian and Greek. Christian monasticism has its roots in Egypt from where it spread to other parts of the region before it was introduced to early medieval Europe. Domain 11. Islamic world. The important historical periods include the rise of Islam, the Arab conquests and the Caliphate of Medina, the Umayyad Caliphate, the Abbasid Caliphate, the Fatimid Caliphate, the Ayyubid and Mamluk Sultanates, the three great empires Ottoman, Safavid and Mughal, the colonial period and modern times. The important sites include Mecca, Cairo, Toledo and Baghdad. As an organized religious system, Islam was founded in the Arabian Peninsula by the Prophet Muhammad in the 7th century CE and is one of the three main monotheistic and Abrahamic religions besides Judaism and Christianity. Based on its holy book called the Quran, it rapidly expanded on three continents and is today the religion of over a billion people across the world. Islam is also the name of a rich civilization characterized by an extraordinary mosaic of ethnic and linguistic communities including those of various branches of Islam itself as well as those of non-Muslims such as Jews, Christians, Zoroastrians, Hindus and others. Over the 14 centuries of its existence in a huge part, part of the world, this highly diverse and complex civilization widely contributed to the scientific, cultural and artistic heritage of humankind. One can hardly overestimate, for instance, the contribution of Avicenna and various other Muslim scholars to the sciences of European Middle Ages. Domain 12. Tibet. The important historical periods include the Tibetan Empire, including the reign of King Khrisongglitzbetstan, the Age of, Frag of Fragmentation, the Fagmogrupa dynasty and the Ga Edan Pobrang government. The important sites include Chonge Dong, Lhasa and Samye Monastery. Buddhism spread to numerous Asian countries and ended up disappearing in India, the land of its birth. It was introduced to Tibet in the 8th century CE, where it exerted a significant influence on the cultural, philosophical and religious life of the entire country. Meditation is an important spiritual practice in Buddhism, even though not all Buddhists meditate. One of the characteristics of Tibetan Buddhism is its rich array of contemplative methods. Some of these seek to bring the clarity of meditation to the experience of dreaming.